Hello angels, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a makeup look that I thought of and it is inspired by 17th century women. So I went to the Huntington Gardens in Pasadena last week and I saw beautiful paintings and just gorgeous artifacts and stuff like that from the 1600s and forward and it was just really cool to see and there were a bunch of paintings of girls and women and I noticed their makeup was so similar to today's makeup while still being a little bit different so I wanted to try and recreate some of their makeup in my face today and as you see we have two zits that are joining us today um I don't know what their deal is, but ignore them and no need to comment. Trust me, I know they're there. So yeah, let's get started. We're gonna start with a little bit of concealer. So in the photo, I noticed that their eye bags aren't super concealed. They're definitely like, you can see some eye bags. I mean, not as bad as mine, but I'm also sick right now if you can't tell from my voice. So I'm going to use a really lightweight concealer, my favorite. Uh, the Glossier Stretch Concealer, and mine is in medium. Um, I still have the old packaging one. So I'm just gonna take some of that and do it lightly underneath my eye. And I'm gonna go from the middle out. So do you see how the inner corner of my eye isn't as covered as usual? That's kind of what I gathered from the paintings of what they were doing. You can do a lightweight foundation if you want for this look. Um, I just don't own foundation, so I'm not gonna. You can also spot conceal if you feel the need to, but I don't really spot conceal ever. I just feel like covering my pimples clogs the pore even more, so I'm just not gonna. And then to finish blending, I'm just gonna take a beauty blender or my Real Techniques sponge, and just pat it. And their skin, I was trying to look for whether it was matte or dewy, and I feel like it was matte in some areas, but dewy in others. So if you have an oilier skin type or you just enjoy setting your makeup, then I think you could totally set it if you really wanted to. So for brows, I noticed that their brows were really soft and light and the same color as their hair um uh and in the photo those girls are like blonde and light brown and caramel colored so their brows are pretty light like that um obviously i don't have that and i'm not going to try and color my brows to match their caramel colored ones so i'm just going to do a little bit of clear brow gel and this is the essence lash and brow you guys have seen me use this a bunch and usually i would make my brows really feathery but for this look i'm just gonna kind of make them a little more hold back like that so brows again are super easy next is a little bit of shadow so they didn't do much but i noticed there's a little bit of something so i'm gonna go in with my elf mad for mattes palette this is just the original one and I'm going to use a little bit of this first shade. You guys can see I use this quite a bit, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of this just to set my lid. I notice they don't have a lot of pigment, but they do have a slight pink tint to their lids. I'm gonna go in with this mauve shade right here, just a teeny bit on my brush, and I'm gonna go in my crease and underneath my eye as well. and I kept it mostly to the outer corner of my eye. Then in the photo, I noticed just some darkness around her lash line, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of brown shadow to act as liner. So I'm taking this Real Techniques brush, this is the accent brush, and I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this shade, I think, right here. I'm just gonna press it into my upper lash line. Next, I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara. They didn't have super defined lashes, so I'm gonna be trying out this mascara today. It's actually brand new to me. It's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara in brown black. And brown black, I think, will look a little more natural than just straight black, like in the photo. 
so very natural lashes is what we were going for so perfect and then i'm gonna take my blush so blush was very important to them back then obviously you saw in the photo there is a lot of blush on so i'm taking the glossier cloud paint in dawn it's brand new to me i ordered it like right after seeing those paintings because i was so inspired by their makeup and i was just like okay if i want to do their makeup i need to get the blush color right so i think this one should work but it's pretty orange and i might mix some beam in with it too just to give it more of a pinky edge so i'm going to take it from the middle out which is what they tended to do okay so i'm just gonna take a little on my finger smile and dot and then blend it in Once I've got my dawn laid down, I'm gonna take a little bit of beam, which is a peachier color. I'm gonna blend it on top, just to kind of seamlessly smooth over with pink. And I also kind of dragged it down because I noticed that's what they did in their photo, down and back a little bit more. My fingers look like Cheeto fingers. Okay, so for lips, I already have just some lip balm on that I've just been wearing all morning. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this Dawn Cloud Paint, dab it on my finger, and dot it on my lips. And that's the final look. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below other beauty looks I should try or like send me pictures that you're inspired by that I could try and recreate just a little bit. Uh, subscribe down below for more videos. Follow me on all my socials that will be linked down below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!